Hello everyone. I just want to check in, see how you're doing. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to the the home office, which also happens to be a corner in the basement. But thankful to be here. And I don't know about you, I just feel like I have had a very interesting time processing some of what is going on, especially when so much of what we're seeing is so negative and not to dismiss what's going on or anything like that. I mean, all the things that we're being asked to do, I think are very smart and very wise and encourage you to do that. But I've also found myself spending a lot of time in my head, kind of combating the negative and the positive and really wanting to make sure that I'm not dismissing the positive things. So I did, I actually reached out to a couple of people here at Next Step and said, hey, would you be willing to share something that's positive? Would you be willing to share an experience from a Next Step trip or a mission trip? And a couple of people have gotten back to me and I've done that. And so what I want to do right now is actually play a couple of those videos for you. And I hope that by hearing some of these stories, you also will be encouraged to look back and think back about moments that you've had or experiences that you've had, mission trips that you've been on, places that you've served, conversations that you've had, things that have really had an impact on your life. And after you watch these videos, I'm gonna jump back in and I want you to be a part of this as well. Hey guys, I remember my first summer on Next Step Summer Staff. We had this really awesome group come just a couple weeks into the summer. They were just on fire for the Lord. And I remember thinking to myself, how am I supposed to lead these people when they are further along in their faith journey than I am? And I was inspired by them, but I was also really intimidated. And I was feeling kind of beat down. Um, like, what am I doing here? How am I supposed to be serving if I'm not good enough, you know? And I remember one of their leaders said to me, you know, God doesn't call the equipped, he equips the called. And ever since then, that's been something that I've tried to live by. And thanks to that group, I learned that. Um, in everything that I do in my life, I try and go where he has called and he'll do the rest of the work, you know, if I'm just available. For me, amidst all this chaos of a pandemic, that's been bringing me just a little bit of peace of mind that he's going to equip whoever it is as long as they say yes, and I believe that he's gonna do that and work through all these people and something even greater is gonna come. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about what a Next Step mission trip did for me as a student. It completely changed my life. It completely changed the entire course of my life. My youth group went on a mission trip to Joplin, Missouri in 2012, and I just fell in love with Joplin and just everything that was going on in the community um, after the tornado that hit there um, and just the ways that the community had come together and was loving each other so well after this disaster. Um, you really could see the local church moving and people were um, just there for each other, just caring for each other and it was so beautiful to witness um, and I loved it so much that I applied to be on summer staff with Next Step. Um, and asked if I could go to Joplin and they said yes. So I got to spend my next three summers in Joplin on summer staff. Leading mission trips in Joplin just helped me see even more the ways that God was moving in this amazing community. The Lord asked me to move there. He said, you gotta do this. Like this is a great place and um, I want you here. I, I did it, I followed the Lord and I moved to Joplin um, and got to continue working for Next Step on the ground um, as community support. Just really developed deep, deep friendships with people in that community um, and it's completely changed the course of my life. Um, I have such, like I have different friendships. I met people that I never would have met um, because of a mission trip to Joplin and I'm so thankful for the ways that my life has been changed um, by that trip um, and yeah I'm just really really thankful and uh, that trip set me on a course to understand that my purpose was to serve God and um, that looked like whatever he asked me to do that I had an opportunity to be faithful to that. So I'm just really thankful for the ways that God used that trip to really change my faith and really change the ways that I saw serving him and boldness in him. Um, and so yeah, a mission trip changed my life. And so I challenge you to also be thinking about stories like this. Maybe you have a mission trip story that you want to share, or maybe you have just something that you've noticed for the last couple weeks that has been really awesome. Here's a quick example from Neil. It's been awesome just seeing neighbors help other neighbors and people get outside and enjoy stuff. And so that's really it. I hope that this is encouraging to you. I want to hear your story. We want to hear your stories. What's a time that God met you on a mission trip or a way that you've been impacted? 
We want to hear from you and I'd love to make another one of these videos with your submissions. So reach out to me and you just DM this Instagram page and I'd love to find a way that we could hear your story as well. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm excited to hear from some of you and I'm just going to get back to the sparkling water and back to this edit. We'll see you in a little bit. Thanks guys.